Everybody, Chini Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited. Yet another day. Because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make these delicious Asian pork chops. These pork chops right here are so flavorful, so easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And if you make it Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty, hands down. Y'all never had my Asian pork chops. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. You're going to need some nice, fresh pork chops. I have washed off my pork chops with lemon juice, salt, and cold water, and then I pat them dry with a paper towel. All right, you will need some green onions. You're also going to need some brown sugar. You can replace the brown sugar with honey if you choose to. You're going to need some sesame seeds. You will need some oyster sauce and soy sauce and a couple of spices so we can make this thing taste good. So right here I have some vegetable oil. Okay, you're gonna need some sazon. You're also gonna need some fresh ginger, fresh garlic, garlic powder, and salt and pepper blend. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. When it comes to this recipe, I am so excited to share with you all how easy it is to make Asian pork chops Jeannie Young style. This is Jeannie Young style. Now, I do want to first talk about the sazon that I'm going to be using. Typically, the sazon would not be used in this recipe. Now, the reason why I chose to use sazon is because I like that red color. I, li I like that color that the sazon gives. Now, normally when I make this recipe, I use a red food coloring. Not everybody in the world likes that red food coloring, number 40, and there are also people that are allergic to that red dye. So now, that's the purpose for choosing the sazon. So we're gonna go right in with the sazon, start to season, and you'll see the beautiful color that it gives you once you fry it up. All right, great taste, beautiful color. This is it. And I feel like I'm going to begin to always use the sazon instead of the red food coloring. You know, a lot of people, they see that gorgeous color that it looks, you know, what it looks like when it's fried, and they say, how the heck did she get that color? Well, the color comes from the red food coloring, but like I said, not everybody agrees with using food coloring. So now let's go right in with garlic powder, just like so in this manner. Beautiful, don't be shy with the garlic powder. You need that flavor so you can have good seasoning. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some salt and pepper, just like so. You don't need a whole lot. We will be seasoning both sides of the pork chop. And we're gonna actually let these pork chops set for about a half an hour in this beautiful marinade that I'm gonna show you how to make after we season. Let's season the other side. It's been a while since I've made these Asian pork chops. My husband is totally in love with this here recipe. And he told me the other day, he said, baby, you know what? He said, we haven't had those pork chops in a while. And I thought, I better get on it. I better make him some of these pork chops. But not only he enjoys it, my whole family loves this recipe. All right, so once again, with the salt and pepper, just a little tiny bit. And with, if your loved ones want a little bit more salt, they can put it on their self, you know. Just like so, beautiful. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna set these into a bowl. I wanna wash off my cutting board, come back and show you how to make this beautiful marinade that we're gonna put these pork chops in. Okay, everyone, so the next thing that we're gonna do, wash off some green onions, and we're gonna slice them, okay? You can slice them, dice them, however you want. If you want small pieces, that's fine. Just make sure you wash them off, you know. So I'm just gonna go in an angle, just like so in this manner. This is gonna bring so much flavor to the marinated pork chops, okay? Now, one thing that I want to talk about, see that there? One thing that I want to talk about 
is the time that you can marinate these. Because I'm doing a video, I'm only gonna marinate them for a half an hour. But if I wasn't doing a video, I'd probably marinate these overnight or a couple hours. So that's what I suggest for you all, if you have the time. But if you're in a pinch and you don't have a lot of time, at least marinate it for a half an hour, okay? So now what we're gonna do with these green tips is I wanna slice a couple because we're gonna need it for a beautiful garnish. You don't need a whole lot, okay? Just like so. I hope y'all are having a great day today. Let me know what you're cooking uh, this weekend for dinner. Okay, so that's going to be for garnish, and then I'll turn around and do this so we don't waste it. Let's just put it right there, just like so. No hassle, no fuss. Pretty simple, right? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a knob of our ginger. And for the people that don't know how to peel ginger, it's really simple. You'll take a spoon, and you just scrape the ginger with your spoon, just like so, and that skin peels off very easy. How about that? Pretty simple trick. Now, when I'm making this recipe, I don't take the skin off. I just wanted to show you if you were curious how to take the skin off. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's cut some pieces of ginger, okay, or slice it. And we want this flavor to permeate all through these beautiful pork chops that we have. And I'm gonna cut this little knob here as well and just throw it right in. There's no way to go wrong with the ginger. You can't, can't mess it up, okay? So now we're gonna go in with the garlic and I wanna talk about what we're gonna do with the garlic. The garlic, you don't have to chop it or dice it. Only thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the side of our knife, we're gonna whack it, whack it. We're gonna take the skin off, okay? And then we're gonna put the whole clove you know, it's a little broken up. That's what we want. That way the flavor can release into your marinade. Just throw that in there. Same with this one. Okay. I, I like to use two, between two and three pieces of garlic. We're using two large garlic cloves today. Okay. Now that the skin is off and you can also see that this one is a little open. That's what we're looking for. Put it right there. Okay. When I come back, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get put together the marinade. Here's how easy the marinade is, and it's so tasty. All right, so we're gonna take a half a bottle of the oyster sauce. It's thick, it comes out very thick. All right, use a half a bottle, great flavor here. Does it taste like oysters? No, it doesn't. You know, but I have to answer that question because there's gonna be somebody that's gonna ask me that question. Ooh, does it taste like fish? Does it taste like oysters? No, it doesn't. It has an amazing flavor. It really does. Okay, so that's the oyster sauce, a half a bottle. We are then gonna also go in with soy sauce. Now, in the description below, I will tell you the measurements. I'll write down all the measurements if you would like to make this recipe. Okay, so we're going in with our soy sauce. You can use a light soy sauce if you would like. Okay, and then we're gonna start off with one third of a cup of brown sugar, okay? And I like to pack it so you can get a correct measurement. Now, if you decide that you don't wanna use a third of a cup, and this is what pack it means. You take the palm and you just press it down to make sure you have the right measurement, okay? So that's one third of a cup. If you decide that you want yours a little bit sweeter, absolutely, that's fine. You can use a half a cup. So it's really up to you, but typically I will always use either one third or a half a cup both measurements makes for an amazing Asian pork chop. So now I'm gonna go in with my hands, they're impeccably clean, and I want to massage that beautiful brown sugar, that sazon, the garlic powder, the um, green onion, the ginger, and the fresh garlic. Let's, let's kind of massage it into the pork chops and look how beautiful it is. Really it is, right? That oyster sauce and that soy sauce. Let's get it all into the pork chops. Like I said, marinate this as long as you can. All right, and a flavor will be extracted from the ginger and the garlic and then we're just gonna push it down after you massage the meat with the marinade. We are also going to take 
two tablespoons of oil, vegetable oil. That's about one, that's about two, and that's it. And we're going to marinate that and we're going to rub that in as well. And it really does something special for this beautiful marinade that we've made here. And you would not believe the smell that we're receiving right now. All right, when I come back, I'll show you what we'll do next. So now we decided to make some beef flavored rice. So that's what we'll be having alongside of these Asian pork chops. It's just like the perfect match. Like they go together like peas and carrots. So I have some vegetable oil in the bottom of my pan and I want to make sure that I get all of the rice pieces nice and covered in the oil. And we want for this rice to kind of fry and get nice, beautiful and golden brown. And then we'll go in with this two and a half cups right here of water. And then we're also going to be putting a seasoning packet in. Once we put the seasoning packet in, we are going to stir it really good, bring it up to a boil, put a lid on and turn it down on low for around about 20 minutes until it's done. Turns out perfect every time. So now what I want you all to do is take a look in the pan. I want you to see that I'm only using a tad bit of oil. Not a lot, and you may not be able to see it because it is just a little bit. So now you're gonna take the green onions off of your chops if you have some on there because of course they would burn. But I want you to purposely put a couple pieces of this beautiful ginger and the ginger will flavor the oil and when that oil gets infused by the ginger it's going to put more flavor into your pork chop. If you see a, a large piece of garlic you can put that in there but when it gets too dark then you'll just take the garlic out of course. Okay so now this is being cooked on a medium between medium and medium high heat. Okay I have two pans that I'm going to be cooking the pork chops on in, one behind me and this one here. And right away, the house smells so beautiful. You are gonna love this recipe and just how easy it is to make. Look at these beautiful pork chops, my goodness. And when you see the color, and you're gonna see how tender they are. And when you taste how flavorful they are, listen here. You'll probably never make pork chops the way you used to make them medium high heat. I'm going to go behind me, put another pan on when I come back. You can see that ginger in the pan. We got a nice hot pan. Pork chops, put them in just like so, nice and evenly. If you need to, put a little slit where the, um, the fat is so that they don't bubble up in your pan. You all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now here's another piece just like so oh like i said the smell the smell alone will get you it smells so good now <clears throat> excuse me i do want to remind you that those sugars that's in our marinade will cause you to have a charred look to your pork that's what we are looking for you want that dark color it's just going to be so beautiful and so flavorful take a look take a look at that come on uh-huh, and look at the rice. The rice is going. Here's our second pan. Oh, wait, you better make you some Gina Young style. You will not be let down. I'm gonna push the smoke away so you can see that beautiful color that we've achieved and that special char that we're looking for. Look at that. <laughs> look how beautiful. Let's put that baby right there. Get right there. Ooh, ooh. ooh, you just get right there and you relax. I'm gonna let one of these pork chops rest in the pan for a little while, get a little bit darker. But that color, that's the color that you have to achieve in order to receive the right flavor. So we got another pan behind us going and the rice should be done. When I come back, I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You get that first bite. Our pork chops are done cooking. Take a look, take a look. And listen here, what I've done was there was some excess um, marinade. I poured it into a measuring cup, and when my pan would get dry, I would pour that excess marinade, bring it up to a boil, and it really, you know, put some extra flavor into those pork chops. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Tell the whole world 
about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you for this beautiful meal today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. This is the new Gina Young recipe for my Asian pork chops that you have to put on your dinner table. And then come back and let me know what you and your loved ones think. God bless. Thank you for watching. Good night.